I'm on Tennessee time, then I come out here. When I'm home, like, my wife and I go to bed at, like, 9 o'clock. Lou. Oh, we're, we're, you know, we're curmudgeons. <laughs> Wait, define curmudgeon. I love Go to word. bed at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know what a curmudgeon is. I, just, I think I'm going to introduce that into my every... I'm just going to start <laughs> dropping it in casual Curmud comments. Yeah, I'm not even sure. All right, that's worth a Google. Okay, all right, curmudgeons. Well, I stand in solidarity with you. I, too, like to be in bed by 9 o'clock. So, so when it's I almost get out past here, it's... Yeah. We're it's, hitting it. We're pushing it. I know. So, all right, I'll keep this quick so no, you can get to bed. No, you're Lord. Uh, we're down to 14 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about how tonight played out, about the final contestants? Do you have a favorite? I would love it if you told me, even though I feel like you won't, because Lionel didn't. Uh, Lionel did he or did, didn't? He did. He so did. He, he said his He favorite? told me everything. It was crazy. Oh, uh, look at her trying to trick me. <laughs> um, you know, um, the, these portions – or these rounds of the show are always interesting. You know, you always have some kids that um, that go home that are very talented, but I think sometimes um, their song choices and stuff like that may get them. Like, even when you look at, at Jay Copeland, yeah. um, we saved Jay, and Jay was one of our platinum ticket winners, but Jay had won a couple of rounds where he didn't really showcase his voice to, to where America probably wasn't necessarily seeing what they had, had like what, what we had seen. Yeah, right. And uh, so uh, when he performed tonight, you know, as judges, it kind of made our, our decision to save him quite easy. But, um, you know, when I look at, when I look at um, like Noah and Hunter Girl, I mean, obviously being kind of the country mm -hmm. judge uh, mm -hmm. on the panel, um, I, I think those, I think those two have a tremendous uh, opportunity to really connect mm -hmm. with um, with kind of a lot of our viewers out there. Certainly, you know, country country singers have always done really, really well in Idol, and uh, so I, I would put them, you know, heavy front runners for me. And like I said, I was glad we really got to bring Mike back. I, I don't know, um, I don't know how. You know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know the voting, but I was pretty shocked that Mike didn't make it in the top ten. But when you when you think about the top ten, you're always going to be shocked mm -hmm. that people don't that's make it. That's what we it. love, though. Yeah, and that's what, kind of that's what, you know, that's what um, keeps the show around for 20 years. And uh, and to that point, though, not to cut you off, but it's 20 seasons in, you were on Kimmel. Y'all said this is the most combative season yet. I'm like, well, what is, who, why is it so combative? Oh, what are y'all well. doing? Who's the antagonizer? Who's stoking the fire? <laughs> well, you see who sits in the middle of me and, <laughs> me and Lionel, you know, Katie. You, you we're, can blame it on my girl, Katie. <laughs> you can blame but it. we're always, um, you know, even in the audition process, I think we were button heads a little bit because there were so many kids that, that I think they were coming in, like I said, pretty raw, and we were having to roll the dice a lot and, and hope that they, um, we were just having to, you know, they were making our jobs, they were making us be judges. Yeah. But um, but the bottom line now is even um, after last night, um, seeing last night's performances, and tonight's a different night because, you know, they're kind of thrust out there to sing right after they get the news. So. You can't really judge. I mean, um, last night's performances were a lot more. Uh, I mean, it was one of the best nights I've seen in Idol. And so, um, but the main thing is, uh, you know, 20 years, it's uh, me and Lionel and Katie are, you know, we, we got we to gotta butt heads every now and then to keep it interesting. But, but we're having fun. We're all, we're all quite amicable. Last thing, Luke, they're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. But I got to ask you, you and Katie, you're sharing a suite in Vegas, not at the same time. <laughs> How is that working out for you guys? Like, is Katie making sure she well, like refills leave, the toilet tissue? Yeah, like I leave crumbs in the couch and, you know. Terrible house Yeah, you know, try to, try to. Um, I did send a selfie of, of the toilet. I'm like, Katie, you know, here's, here's where it all goes down right here. I was clothed. Okay. I mean, it wasn't. I'm not thinking about the clothes. I'm thinking about what's in the toilet. No, Did you flush first? No, no. It was. I you, no, I you didn't flush. I courtesy for courtesy for Katie. Okay, courtesy for Katie. I love it. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to see Katie's you. Katie's the one you got to worry about. On the, oh, I'm a dog's